kwa moja ni kwa baraza la kimataifa kuhusu simamizi wa haki za binadamu NCAG limeelezea wasiwasi wake kuhusiana na ufisadi unaendelea kuwa changamoto humu nchini ufisadi huu ukiadhiri maendeleo katika sekta ya umma kutokana na hilo baraza hilo limetangaza mikakati mipya itakayosaidia kupambana na zimu la ufisadi humu nchini Paul Muniu ana uketo wa taarifa hiyo Jaji mkuu Martha Koome ametangaza mpango mpya katika mapambano dhidi ya ufisadi nchini akisema kuwa mikakati ya sasa haijafanikiwa kupambana kikamilifu na zimu hilo nchini. We therefore resolved to galvanize our collective efforts to provide strategic and focused leadership boldly and decisively in the fight against corruption. We resolved to prioritize systems and processes that will examine all the justice sector agencies and help them to identify corruption risk areas and to take remedial measures to seal opportunities for corruption. Mahakama ina mpango wa kuimarisha ushirikiano wa mawasiliano kati ya idara na taasisi serikalini ili kuwezesha vita dhidi ya ufisadi. Jaji mkuu ameeleza kuwa kesi zote zinazohusiana na ufisadi zitapewa kipaumbele kwenye usikilizaji na utoaji wa uamuzi. Idara ya mahakama kwa ushirikiano na asasi za serikali inapania kuanzisha mfumo wa kulipwa kwa faini za trafiki kutumia njia za simu ili kupunguza mrundiko wa kesi mahakamani. Isitoshe, mahakama imeeleza kuwa iko kwenye utaratibu wa kuajiri majaji zaidi kusaidia katika kusikiliza kesi zinazohusiana na ufisadi. The establishment for judges is 200, we only have 78. Eventually we will increase the capacity. But even before we increase the capacity, we can do be the very best we can do with what we have uh, by leveraging on uh, support and collaboration from each other. Wakati huo huo waziri wa usalama wa ndani Kidhure Kindiki ametoa wito wa ushirikiano miongoni mwa vyombo vyote vya serikali ili kukomesha ufisadi kamwe that our accountability is both individual and collective we are collectively bound to work together to deliver that accountability if the constitution is to be realized. Maafisa wengine waliohudhuria mkutano huo ni pamoja na Inspector General wa Polisi Jafeth Koome, mwanasheria mkuu Justin Muturi, mkurugenzi wa mashtaka ya Umar Renson Igonga na afisa mkuu mtendaji wa ESCC Tolib Mbarak. Paul Moniruninga TV47 Mombasa.